You being her ex does not mean you are no longer an option for her, which is why she's always looking at your stories, always coming in, checking in and seeing, oh, I wonder what he's up to. Let me see what he's got going on. Oh, let me see if he's made it yet. Is he popping now? Uh, let, me, let me make sure that he doesn't blow up and forgets about me. Is the girl that you like watching your stories all the time but is never ever texting you? We are gonna talk about three reasons why she's watching your stories and at the end, I'm gonna give you a bonus test to really see if this girl is actually thinking about you like that. What does it mean if they watch your stories but they don't text you? I hate to be the bearer of bad news but it doesn't mean a fucking thing. We are adding so much more importance to digital nonsense like, oh my God, they watched my stories. Oh my God, they sent an emoji or they hearted something. But what we're not actually looking at is how is this person showing up for you outside of fucking social media? That's how valid. are you going to have a relationship with somebody who sends you a fire emoji but isn't willing to show up and have a conversation with you? Yeah. Or isn't willing to acknowledge their feelings? Or doesn't even have the bandwidth or the fucking self-awareness to be able to tell you what it is that they're feeling. Right. And we focus on this low effort digital nonsense because, oh, yay, that's that quick hit of dopamine. Our brain loves that. And when we're going through a withdrawal, the cortisol rises and the dopamine drops. So when you don't have this person in your life anymore, your brain will hold on to anything. Inclusive of Very a like on Instagram or something that literally takes seconds. But you know what doesn't? What doesn't take seconds is someone reaching out to you, taking accountability and ownership, mm -hmm. having a conversation of what it is that they want in a relationship, how they see you fitting in their lives. And instead of conflating and making this entire narrative of because, oh my God, they liked one of my stories or, oh my God, I saw them like a photo of mine. Let's look at how low effort that is and the fact that you cannot build a sustainable and healthy relationship with somebody who is more focused on your social media than they are spending time with you and actually having conversations of depth with you. Okay. I don't know if y'all could calculate all this sciencey shit and all this psychological shit she was talking about, but it was a bit fast paced for me. But anyways, while all the shit she was saying was low key facts, and I did agree with quite a bit of it, they're being lazy by, you know, liking your stories, dropping fire emojis and all that, but they don't wanna take the time to text you and say hi to you. Women are not programmed to come at guys first. Women are not programmed to message guys and approach guys first. Women are feeling a whole lot of things. While she is thinking about texting you first, she's also thinking about, oh my God, this is gonna happen. What if he doesn't answer? What if he just leaves me on read? What if he leaves me on scene? What if this happened? All this bunch of bullshit's going on in her head, so she just decides, okay, let me just like the story and hopefully he messages me. I know that's no excuse. I know that's laziness. I know that's taking the easy way out i get it that's just how women are what the fuck are you gonna do about it let's talk about why she's watching your stories and not responding to <laughs> number one she's fearing missing out you might have been her ex now you're working on some shit and she sees you you know you're focusing on yourself you're not really paying her no mind like that so she's wondering what the fuck do you got going on? What are you working on? She doesn't want to miss out on you becoming the next Jeff Bezos. She doesn't want to miss out on you becoming the next Drake, my G. You being her ex does not mean you are no longer an option for her, which is why she's always looking at your stories, always coming in, checking in and seeing, oh, I wonder what he's up to. Let me see what he's got going on. Oh, let me see if he's made it yet. Is he popping now? Uh, let, me, let me make sure that he doesn't blow up and forgets about me. She's out here making sure that she doesn't miss out on anything. Matter of fact, you're much more of an option than most of the other guys because she's been with you. And it's not that hard for her to get back with you. Depending on you, uh, what kind of guy you are, what the standards you are, but it's not as hard for her to reach out with you and try to set up a date with you versus a new guy that she just met. The second reason why she's watching your stories and not texting you is because she just wants attention. She knows that you're looking at who's looking at your stories. She knows you're checking who saw your story. She knows that shit. And she knows when you see her looking at your stories, you're gonna get excited. Just like how the girl was talking about in the video. You're gonna get the dopamine rush. You know, you're gonna start to feel all good about yourself. You're gonna start to feel excited. The brain loves that do dopamine rush, that sciencey shit she was talking about. You're gonna feel the urge to text her and you're probably gonna start messaging her and start giving her free attention, which is what she's probably looking for. She's hoping that you see her looking at your stories and you start texting her on some, hey, I miss you, baby. I miss you, all this blah, 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 blah. I, I miss the our time together on some bullshit. Giving her all sort of attention. You're so pretty. You look so cute when you woke up in the morning. Oh, gorgeous, all this extra shit, right? She's gonna start to feel good about herself. She's gonna be like, oh, got him. Got him. And then leave you unseen. 
got them, and then stop texting you. Do yourself a favor, do not bite on the bait because she gets everything out of that. She gets attention for that. You have to understand, attention is like a drug to women. They're addicted to that shit. They can't live without attention. So they're gonna do whatever they can to use you for, the, for, for attention. They're gonna do whatever they can to use you for free attention and get as much attention from you and then never talk to you ever again. Uh, let me know in the comments if women are texting you from the stories or texting fire emojis or text are reaching out to you from you posting on your stories. The third reason why she's watching your stories but is never contacting you. She's watching your stories because y'all follow each other on Instagram and your shit popped up and she scrolled through and then kept it moving. That's all it is. There's nothing to it. Doesn't mean doesn't mean anything. Because if you guys were dating in the past, you all most likely follow each other on Instagram. And if she's not on some petty shit, she probably still follows you. She didn't unfollow you just because y'all are not seeing each other anymore. Looking at stories and watching stories is part of using the Instagram app. Maybe she liked it. Maybe she didn't. Who the fuck cares? Either or it doesn't mean nothing. She was just scrolling. Let's get to the bonus. Let's get to the juicy part of this video: the meat and potatoes. My G. Come here, come here, come here, come real close, come real close. Let me talk to you. If you really want to find out if this woman is really thinking about you like this, you're going to have to take a big risk. That risk is unfollowing her and removing her as a follower. The reason why you want to do this is because you want to see if she is going to come and still watch your stories. If she's coming over to watch your stories when she's not following you, that means she's really thinking about you because think about it. If she doesn't follow you, she has to go and type up your name and click on your stories to see what you're up to. Like I was talking about before, she might just be scrolling through the app and she follows you and she happens to run on your stories. If you really want to know if this woman is thinking about you like that, remove her as a follower and see if she comes to look at your stories. She has to go out of her way to type up your name and your use your profile and click on your story and watch it. Right? She has to really be thinking about you to pull out her phone, go to the to the search menu, search up your name and then click on your story and watch it. She goes to the search bar, search up your name, look at your stories. She had to have been thinking about you. That's the only way. Cause we're not going to search up people's names and looking at their stories that we don't care about. We're not going to the search bar and searching up the people we hate and looking at their stories and watching what the fuck they up to. We don't give a fuck. Women aren't out here look, going up and searching up the guys that they haven't thought of in five years to look at their stories to see what they're up to. Women ain't out here doing that shit. Click the video on the screen and find out why women come back after they leave you.